What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing well. Today's video will be another build guide in a series where I make builds specifically using only pre-raid gear. That means anything is on the table. Enchants, BOEs, mythic gear, and crafted gear. These builds are designed to be beginner friendly, help newer and returning players learn how to step up their gameplay, and hopefully get you picked up by a guild and get into those heroic and ascended raids. If these build guides help you and want to show me some love back, remember that it only takes a few seconds, but subscribing below and leaving a like will help get this video out to as many people as possible. Let's dive into the video. One thing before getting into this video, some of you have been asking if I will update my builds for League 3. A lot of the builds I have made are designed to be used in raids over on Area 52. They could, in theory, work on League 3, but with the reduction to talent points, it would make a lot of them far weaker than their Area 52 counterparts. That being said, I will look into making some level 60 versions of those builds if it's something you guys would like to see. Without more rambling, on to the build guide. So this build is what I am calling the Spirit Stacking Shadow Bolt Support Caster. We take a lot of buffs in this build because we have so much free ability essence, it allows us to not only make ourselves stronger, but as a welcome addition to any mythic dungeons or flex raids you happen to be a part of. If you're in a raid already and have a dedicated bard with all the improved buffs and debuffs, you can look to swap the spells out for something that suits your playstyle. I will let you, the player, make that decision as to what you would want to use instead. Starting things off right, we gotta talk about the random enchants and stat priority for the build. Let's talk about the legendary for this build first. We are using pure shadow. This RE is such a fantastic fit for this build. It gives us everything we want. More crit chance and the shadow crash you get from using shadow fury is disgustingly strong. I've seen it crit for over 55k on one target and I'm only at item level 119. I've seen others being able to have it crit for close to 150k so it scales extremely hard with gear. On to the epic REs, the first one we use is Dusk Till Dawn, second we use Mind Burn, and last but not least we use Growing Corruption. Dusk Till Dawn is one of the craziest REs I've ever used in this game. This is the epitome of value in one RE. Starting from the top, it makes your Shadow Burn hit up to five enemies, turning an already strong single target ability into a potent AoE nuke. Second, anytime you cast a direct damage spell, it gains a stack of 3% damage, getting up to 15% more damage at max stacks. If that wasn't already enough at 5 stacks, it then consumes them and applies corruption to all enemies hit. And to put the cherry on top of this ridiculous RE, the RE makes your Shadowburn shotgun onto one target, allowing it to hit three separate times in one cast. And yes, each one of those can crit. I've seen this spell crit for over 40k damage in total in one shot, and on a full five targets, it hits up to seven separate times. I've seen it crit for over 90k damage total. Use this RE before they nerf it because it is legit broken. Mind Burn serves two purposes in this build. One, it gives a flat 25% damage to your Shadow Burn spell. I don't think there's any other RE in the game currently that boosts any one single spell by this much. 25% damage in one enchant slot is so absurd for your overall output. Second, this triggers the Darkness talent. We use Mind Blast in this build to trigger the Backdraft talent, and using this RE allows us to store a charge of Mind Blast, allowing the player to have 100% uptime on that talent. A free 25% permanent haste on your main spell is stupidly broken. Growing Corruption is a flex point for this build. I chose this RE just to help whoever plays this build to have a little more staying power in the AoE department. The 20% crit on targets seems insane, but it's usually up for less than one GCD. You will almost never benefit from this part of the RE. However, the fact you can chain cast your Seed of Corruption allows you to do some nasty levels of AoE. I can usually get up to around 15 to 18k on packs of 5 plus monsters and a mythic dungeons or flex raids that is plenty. Plenty. Moving along to the rest of the REs used in this build, we use 3 Dark Embrace, 3 Fierce Mind, 3 Elemental Weapons, 1 Precision, 1 Balance of Power, and 1 Celestial Focus. In all of my testing, the extra spell power from Elemental Weapons outshines any other REs, even ones that just give flat percent damage to your abilities. The stat priority for this build is as follows, Spirit, Spell Power, Intellect, Crit Rating, then Haste. 
Let's go over the town tree and spells for this build. We will go left to right as always, so follow along as we go over this together. Starting here in the Druid, we look to take Mark of the Wild. Over in Hunter, over in the Survival Tree, the spell we pick up here is Feign Death. Over in the Mage in the Arcane Tree, the spells we take here are Arcane Intellect and Blink. The talents we take here are three points into Student of the Mind. Over in Fire, the spell we take here is Molten Armor. Over in the Paladin Tree, the spells we take here are Blessing of Wisdom, and over in Protection, the spell we take here is Blessing of Kings. Moving on to Priest in the Discipline, the spell we take here is Power Word Fortitude, Inner Fire, and Divine Spirit. The talents we take here are three points into Meditation. Over in Shadow, the spell we look to take here is Mind Blast. The talents we take here are three points into Spirit Tap, two points into Improved Spirit Tap, three points into Darkness, one point into Mind Flay, three points into Shadow Weaving, and one point into shadow form. Over in Shaman, the spell we take here is Call of the Elements. The talents we take here are three points into raise. Over in Enhancement, the spell we take here is Flame Tongue Weapon, Flame Tongue Totem, and Wrath of Air Totem. The talents we take here are three points into elemental weapons. Over in Restoration, the spells we take here are Tremor Totem and Water Shield. Last but not least, over in the Warlock Tree, this is where we spend the majority of our points. The spells we take here are Corruption, Curse of the Elements, and Seed of Corruption. The talents we take here are three points into Eradication, one point into Shadow Mastery, and one point into Everlasting Affliction. Over in Demonology, the spells we take here are Summon Succubus and Fell Armor. The talents we take here are three points into Demonic Aegis, five points into Master Demonologist, and two points into Molten Core. Over in Destruction, the spell we take here is, of course, Shadow Bolt. The talents we take here are five points into Improved Shadow Bolt, three points into Bane, five points into Ruin, one point into Shadow Burn, three points into Backdraft, three points into Shadow and Flame, and lastly, Shadow Fury. This wouldn't be a proper build guide if I didn't go over the rotation and some gameplay explanation. Even though this is a fairly simple build, once you get into your rotation, the start can be a little bit clunky. I'm going to go ahead and put up a full rotation breakdown on the screen first, then hop over in game a little later to show you what it looks like in real time. To start the fight off, use Mind Flay and let it finish the cast. This will bring you up to three stacks of Shadow Weaving, and at this point I look to cast Shadow Burn. Even though we don't have stacks, of the RE. This will do the most damage right off the bat, and we want this to be used as much as possible. After using Shadow Burn, throw on your Corruption, then use three Shadow Bolts. Lead that into a Mind Blast, then three more Shadow Bolts. Cast Mind Blast one more time, then cast one to two Shadow Bolts after that. Your Shadow Burn should be coming up off of cooldown just at that time, and you will have your five stacks of the RE. After Shadow Burn, check to see how many stacks of pure Shadow you have, and if it shows 10, go ahead and blast that target with Shadow Fury. After you've used your Shadow Fury for the first time, you then repeat the previous steps until it comes back up. Shadow Burn into three Shadow Bolts, into a Mind Blast, followed by three more Shadow Bolts. Mind Blast into one to two more Shadow Bolts into your Shadow Burn, followed by yet another three Shadow Bolts. Use your Shadow Fury and Shadow Burn on cooldown, maintaining five stacks of Shadow Weaving throughout the whole fight. All right, let's jump over in game. I will give you all a crash course in real time. This will be the unscripted part of the video, so please forgive me for any stumbling around, okay? All right, we are here at my favorite place, the Thunder Bluff Rogue Training Dummy. This is gonna be a little bit uh, clunky to see and do in real time, so please forgive me, but I'm gonna do my best to adhere to the same rotation I gave you guys down in the breakdown. So again, I look to start with Mindfully into Shadow Burn, into a Corruption and Shadow Bolts. So let's go ahead and just do a couple little, you know, pre-buffs, not really too bad. This is just assuming you have all your buffs and debuffs. This isn't really a DPS test yet. You will see that a little bit later in the video. So let's just go ahead and do the rotation. So we look to use Mind Flay. Ooh, and I miss. Nice. Good start. Good start. <laughs> Mind Flay. Let that finish. Use Shadow Burn into a Corruption. At this point, I have three stacks of Backdraft. So I do one, two, three into a Mind Blast. Into three more Shadow Bolts. One, two, three. And then look to use Shadow Burn again. Shadow Bolt again. One, two, three. Mind Blast. One, two, three. And at this point, I have three stacks of pure, or 10 stacks of pure shadow. So I use Shadow Crash into a Shadow Burn. Boom, 42K and a 27K crit. Not too bad. And at this point, all you're going to be doing is using Shadow Bolt and Mind, Mind Blast, pretty much. Pretty simple rotation. 
My shadow burn is going to be coming up. Use that. Boom. Do three more shadow bolts. And you can go ahead and weave in your trinkets if you want and cooldowns as well. There's not many cooldowns for this build. Just your trinket. Boom. Use your, your backdraft. Mind blast into shadow burn. Another shadow bolt and shadow crash. Let's see if we can get a good stack here. Boom. Nice. All right. That's the rotation. Not too bad. Not too, not too complicated once you actually get into it. It's just maintaining shadow weaving buffs using your shadow burn when you can and shadow, shadow fury on cooldown. Pretty simple. I will leave you guys like I always do in these DPS videos with the five minute patchwork test. This build is so much fun to play. You will see some number stacks that will absolutely blow your mind. Those huge shadow burn crits into a massive shadow crash makes me laugh every single time. And with that, this video is done. Subscribe below for more content. I will see you in the next one.